almost every owner of a new Doberman puppy, at least at some point, is going to warn of themselves if their dog's growth is on track or where it should be. They're going to ask themselves maybe if they'll be a little bit smaller of an adult, if they'll be an average size adult Doberman, or maybe if they're going to be a big, giant, monstrous adult Doberman when they're older. Oh, I'm sure you can picture it now. Your cute little puppy, all grown up as a big, strong adult, up there on the silver screen in the next blockbuster action flick, protecting the hero and saving the day. Okay, well maybe your dog's not gonna be the next action hero, but you probably still wanna know if your dog's growth is on track. So today we're gonna to talk about the average growth curve for Dobermans in their first two years of life. We're also gonna talk about uh, their adult size, what they are on average when they're growing up and filled out adults, and how to tell if your specific dog is underweight or overweight. All right guys, so here's a typical growth curve for a Doberman puppy. As you can see on this graph, it's broken down into two sections, the males and the females. The males being the blue shaded region and the uh, females being the pink shaded region. And that kind of shows you the weight range on average for a puppy at that specific age. And as you can see, that first year of growth is a time of like super fast growth. The puppies put on weight and even height at a really fast rate. Um, by about the age of one years old though, they should be at their adult height more or less but they will still kind of fill out from there. So they'll still kind of gain some weight up until about the age of two. And at that point, their weight generally tends to kind of just level off. So let's throw up a table on the screen of uh, Doberman weight by age and to kind of show you the averages for males and females. And this table is just, it's a great way to get a general idea of where your puppy is in terms of growth. But keep in mind, this is just kind of a general guideline. Uh, every dog is really different with different genetics. so. Uh, this means they could be bigger or smaller from here, and uh, the growth curve may even happen a little bit earlier or later, but this should kind of give you a good rough guideline of the averages. So there's a general rule of thumb that can kind of help you remember what the average weight should be at a certain age. They say Doberman puppies should be about 10 pounds for every month old that they are. Now that kind of holds true up until about six months of age, but after that, that rule kind of doesn't really apply anymore. But for the first six months of life, that rule is pretty good. It tends to apply a little bit better to males as females tend to be a little lighter than that. But um, that's a great way to help you remember what your dog should be at a given age. One thing I really want to put emphasis on again, guys, real quick. Let me throw up the uh, growth curve again for you. Look at that 10 months, man. That first 10 months of their life, that is a lot of growth in a short period of time. In fact, uh, this rapid growth can really be hard on your Doberman, so it's not uncommon for your Doberman to get growing pains during this time. Um, if that happens, you might see your dog kind of randomly start limping for some unknown reason. Um, it's always a good idea to go to the vet if this happens, of course, but um, x-rays can actually tell if this is growing pains or something else, but it's not uncommon for your dog to get some pretty serious growing pains during that time because it's such a steep growth curve. So what about when they're full grown adults? Well, these are still considered medium sized dogs, which honestly is strange to me because they seem like big dogs to me. I mean, up to hundred pounds, that's a big dog to me, but I don't know. Maybe I just had small dogs growing up. I don't, I don't know what, but they're considered medium sized dogs technically. And uh, as an adult, the males can be between 75 to hundred pounds and the females between 60 to 90 pounds. In reality, your dog's adult weight can vary a little bit outside this range too on either side, and it's certainly possible to have a completely healthy Doberman outside this weight range. But these ranges are the ranges that are set in the Doberman breed standard by the DPCA, or the Doberman Pincher Club of America. Now the breed standard as set by the FCI for the European Dobermans says that the European Dobermans should be between 88 to 99 pounds for males or 71 to 77 pounds for females. Now you think that this means that the dogs are very similar in weight, but in reality, that's just a difference in breed standards. Uh, the FCI for the European Doberman sets a kind of tight breed standard, whereas the Doberman Pincher Club of America for American Dobermans sets kind of a broader range. In the real world, you can expect the European Dobermans to be about five to 10 pounds heavier. Now, if you wanna learn more about the differences between American and European Dobermans, take a look at my video. Here's the link right up here in the corner of your screen all about all the differences between American and European Dobermans. 
So let's talk briefly about how you can tell if your Doberman is at a healthy weight. Let me throw up this diagram on the screen and uh, we'll, I'm going to talk you through this. This is kind of a crude representation, but it should help you, give you get an idea as to what to look for. So here are some things you'll notice for underweight Dobermans. Now the first thing you'll notice probably is that the ribs, the pelvic bone, and the vertebrae are all somewhat visible or kind of starting to become visible from the side of the dog. Uh, there's an obvious and kind of an elongated appearance of the waist also when you view the dog directly from above looking down on them. Uh, you may also notice that there's really no discernible fat around the rib cage area and there feels like there's the skin is almost lying directly on the ribs when you feel the, uh, the, the rib cage area with your hands. Uh, multiple individual bones of the rib cage could be easily visible from the side. You may notice a loss of muscle mass as well in some other areas. Now, if your Doberman is underweight, especially like 10% or more, uh, that could lead to some long-term health concerns, some quality of life issues, um, or even some issues with their emotional state. So if you think your dog might be underweight, it's a good idea to get them to the vet to get checked out. Being underweight can also be one of the first signs of some of the more serious diseases. So go to a vet if you're at all concerned. Now, here's how you can tell if your Doberman might be overweight. Now you might notice that the rib cage of your dog is not visible from the side or directly above looking down on your dog. And if you run your hands over across the ribs, you might also notice that there's excess fat covering those ribs. Um, the waist might be slightly discernible, although not prominent at all when you're above looking straight down on the dog. Uh, now where the stomach kind of curls up underneath the legs when you're looking at the dog from the side, this is called abdominal tuck and the abdominal tuck might be lacking or minimal when you're looking at the dog from the side. Uh, the, most, the easiest thing to spot is a stomach area may kind of just appear to hang down from the dog, whereas an ideal weight Doberman should have the uh, stomach tucking up. And just like with humans, being overweight is also a cause for concern. Um, your dog can be more susceptible to life-threatening diseases. It could be a symptom of a life-threatening disease. Um, they would also be more prone potentially to get injured during a strenuous activity. They can become lethargic. Their emotional state can also suffer if they're overweight. There's a whole lot of issues. So if you think your dog is overweight, you should also bring him into a vet just to be on the safe side. Now, lastly are the physical traits you're likely to see for a Doberman who's at the ideal weight. A Doberman who's the ideal weight will have a rib cage that'll be kind of slightly visible from the side or you'll see like a soft outline, maybe even like the last rib of the rib cage might be apparent. If you run your hands along the rib cage of the dog also, you'll see that there's like kind of a minimal fat layer. It's not just skin on bone and it's not too thick of a layer, it's just kind of a minimal layer of fat um, between the skin and the ribs. The waist of the dog is also distinguishable when you're viewing them from above um, and you won't see kind of any bony protrusions of any kind and the abdomen area tucks up real smoothly up from the rib cage up to the hind legs. Guys, I know I've said it before in this video, but let me reiterate one more time. There are so many diseases and things that go on sometimes with the Doberman breed that if you catch it early enough, you can do something about it. And sometimes one of the earlier symptoms might be weight gain or weight loss. So if for any reason you suspect your dog might kind of be outside the ideal range, if you wanna play it safe, just take him to the vet to get checked. If you think this video has been helpful in any way, hit that thumbs up button down below and leave a comment while you're here. Look, the whole point of my channel is to try and make your life just a little bit easier with your Doberman. And I put out these crash course videos all the time to help make that happen. So make sure you hit that subscribe button while you're here down below and the little bell icon that comes up. That way you won't miss my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.